Okay, this is what the what it's supposed to look like when you uh, when it's three quarters of the way done. See, it's done, but it's not cooked too much. But with macaroni, to stop the action on it, and see, none of it's sticking together because of that oil and because of that salt. It's not sticking, and it empties out of your of your uh, out of your whole pan. See? So what you do is you're still going to rinse this off because it's, it's going to stop the action from it still cooking, see? Because if you don't do this, it'll become gummy and sticky and it uh, will still keep cooking. So you have to rinse off this macaroni. Very, very important. Or it's going to keep cooking and we don't need it to keep cooking. Because then therefore it's going to... Uh-oh. So therefore, if it, if it continues to keep cooking, that's not a good look for us. It'll be gummy like I was talking about. It'll be uh, in pieces, and we don't want this in pieces. So here we go. See? All of them are all uniform. See? That's the way it's supposed to look. And it's not breaking apart or any of that. All right. So now we're going to set this over here. Because now this is good to go and it's ready. So now our spaghetti, our uh, macaroni's are ready. So now we're gonna start cutting up for this. Our bacon is done. Let me get us the right at night. Hmm, where's my big spaghetti at night? Hold on. That big, big knife. I don't know. Anyway, here we go. See it. That's not it. Oh. Okay. With um, cabbage, you're going to use a serrated knife. This knife is boo-boo. I got a big one that's a big black one that's real cool. That's, but this one right here is garbage. So anyway, but we're going to, you know, just cut it like so. You want it to, uh, see this knife is garbage. This goddamn knife been and had me cut my ass. See all of this right here, all of this sawing and shit, that means the knife ain't no damn good. And we don't want to put that in there. We don't want the butt of, of, of it inside of the inside of our dish. We want to throw that away. So, not saying that we have to have this all the way minced up, because in actuality, my mama. She'll cut it in fourths and be through with it. But me, I do cut it up a little bit more than how mama used to do it. She just cut it, bam, down the center and boom, on each side and it, it's a wrap, you know. But now I will cut mine a little bit more than how she used to do hers. So now this is at the butt of it, so I'm gonna throw that part away. So in our handy dandy bag that we keep in the sink, that got all of our extra stuff in there, Set this guy back in the sink, and all of our excess goes in our bag. Okay, so, yeah, you're just gonna cut it up a little bit. It don't have to be all minced up and stuff, because, you know, we don't want no damn coleslaw. We ain't doing coleslaw, we're doing fried cabbage. So, let me start making this bigger, because all them little stingy ass pieces. Nah, that's like you trying to stretch some shit, and I ain't into the stretching thing. Either you got enough, goddamn it, or you don't, you know? But all that trying to stretch the shit, and all that shit on the taco meat, and all that shit, and danging it up with lettuce, and all that shit, just cook some more damn meat, hell. Either cook some more damn meat, or shit, they can't have six, they get three. You know what I'm saying? But all of that other, <laughs> mm, mm Shit, we ain't doing that. Shit, this shit was four. Four pounds for 99 cents. Shit, if I can't make this happen with this, then shit, well, I don't need to be cooking it. But at any rate, uh, I'm gonna just, you know, it don't have to be all uniform and shit. It don't have to be all no perfect form and all that kind of shit. Just don't have to be perfect, just any kind of way. Uh, I'll cut some more of this off of here. See, if it got real pretty green pieces, that's what you want. When it started getting white and shit, that's in the rind, and we ain't doing the rind. 
We not doing the rhyme, Boogie. My man ain't gonna give us no rhyme to eat. Shit. Okay, this is starting to get into the rhyme. We don't want the rhyme up in here. Okay, I'm gonna throw that stuff away. Cause it's starting to get into the rhyme and we not, we not doing the rhyme. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna take this out of here. We're gonna rinse off this stuff right quick. And we're gonna start uh, getting this together. All right, family, in a minute. Bye. Okay, now you see what I was talking about on some good looking ass bacon? That's some good looking ass bacon. Okay, so now we're gonna leave the pot liquor on there. We're gonna leave that, cause that's seasoning for it. So now we're gonna start putting our cabbage in here. This is how we doing this. We start putting the cabbage inside of the bacon and everything. We're gonna throw that away. But we're gonna, oh, I'm making a mess. Yeah, just put it in my trash bag. So, doing it like so. I have another little thing of, uh, of cabbage in the refrigerator. I think I need to cut it up and cook it. Yeah, I bet. Okay, family, here we go. Now, when you're frying cabbage, the only season that you're going to use, here, just wait. The only seasoning you're going to use is seasoning salt, black pepper, vinegar. And for it to really sear and because you want it, you want it to cook good. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to, I'm also going to dice up an onion. I'm going to put some onion in here. So I put my black pepper and my seasoning salt. Okay, and we're gonna put some vinegar in there. We're gonna put some vinegar up in here. Might as well use some bass of that. Some vinegar. Here we go. Okay, and when it starts to cook down, you're gonna add a little bit of sugar. A little bit. And I'm gonna tell you why. The sugar is not to make it sweet. The sugar is, a, we're gonna use the sugar as a condiment, as a seasoning. You don't put it in there to make it sweet. So don't get it fucked up, be like, oh, she had me having some sweet shit. No, we're not making it sweet. But to sear it and to give more flavor to the cabbage. So we're gonna do seasoned salt, Black pepper, you also gonna put an onion in there. We're gonna put just a little bit of sugar to sear it as it's cooking. We're gonna put a lid on this guy. It's a wrap, baby, some vinegar, it's on deck. But you, it takes a little bit for this to cook down. So, and we want it to, I'm gonna show you what it's supposed to look like because you really want this to cook down and you really want it to sear really, really nice. So, it's gonna take a little while, but anyway, this is the cabbage. The cabbage is on deck. We's going over there to go get this macaroni and cheese together. Meatloaf in the oven. Deck. Deuces, y'all. Okay. Meatloaf is done. You cook the meatloaf until it's a little more than three quarters because when you put the tomato sauce on here, all you're really doing is just really searing it on the meat. So, here we go. We're going to put some sauce on here. I poured off the grease, the oil. It wasn't very much oil because we used a pretty good ground beef to, to start off with. So, that's him, Slim. Put it in our handy dandy bag. Our bag is filling up. You see what I'm talking about, ladies? When you have a bag working with you, see how I'll be cooking my ass off. I'll get the burning up shit. 
But I still love them, even though they to the curb on four flats. I still love them. Anyway, we're going to put them back in the top oven. Back on 350. Okay, so now that's back in here. Let me show you what our cabbage looks like. I added the extra um, head of, of cabbage. I also uh, put an onion in there too. And really, you don't stir it. You just fold it over. You just put your tool in there and you just fold it over. This right here is between a, a colander, a spatula, and a spoon. This is one of the best, best cooking tools I've ever bought. In the 99 cents only store, you can get them from there. Um, I bought this. I did get this from Ross. I got this guy from Ross, though. But I love, love, love this guy, too. But I love um, cooking things. This right here, it keeps your, your lettuce from... Um, turning when you cut with that so um but anyway i'm getting off on some whole other shit but um anyway so you see how i'm doing that you just pretty much just flipping that and i'm telling you it smells so doggone good it's unbelievable it smells really really good and when this cooks down then i'm gonna take the 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 top off of it a little bit so it can really sear real good so anyway guys we're getting ready to go back on the other side of the kitchen because we get ready to put this macaroni and cheese together anthony has gr uh, grated up all the cheese so it's a wrap family we getting re we're doing this it's hot as shit in here but mama getting ready to get this on and pop it let's go